So it's the peak of summer and uh, there's some long hot days out here. And you might not want to go to the river in waders, you might just want a wet wade. But what you got to keep in mind is that by the time you get to the river, you're probably going to sweat a little and what happens is because you're laid out into the evening, 10, 11 o'clock at night, you're going to end up shivering. So it's actually a really good idea to come along with either a light fleece, um, some sort of long sleeve to cover up with and maybe even a pair of uh, long underwear just to keep you a little warmer. So when prepping to go to the river you might want to think about bringing a few certain things for your evening fish. One of which is some bug spray. Um, the other is actually a, a magnifier for seeing those tiny little flies you're going to tie on as well as a headlamp. Now the headlamp comes in um, for two purposes. One is to not only see when you're tying on flies, um, but the other is actually when you're walking back. And the reality is it's gonna get dark, you're gonna need to see. And let me tell you, um, things look a lot different in the dark. So keep that in mind, you know, pay attention to things like gates and fences and you know, other things that um, you have to go through on your way in to get to the river um, so that you can prepare for them on the way out. And you know, as well, um, you never know when you got those little beady eyes looking at you um, if, you're, if you're in the wilderness, if you're in the woods. So you might also want to bring along um, some bear spray. So let's talk about the actual fly fishing gear setup. You're going to want a nine foot, three to five weight rod. And that really just kind of, you know, the weight of the rod depends on the size of the fish that you're going for. Dave likes to use a four weight, I like to use a five. That's kind of just our comfort zones. Really what it comes down to is that a mid-flex rod will actually help you when it comes to actually dampening the higher line speed that you're going to need to be able to lay out an actual straight line um, leader and tip it on the water. A ten and a half foot leader is suitable. You want to start with a nine foot taper to three or four X and then you're going to add on about 18 inches of four or five X. And the biggest thing that you need to remember with the tippet is that it needs to be supple. It needs to be able to float and drift really naturally in the water.